Hello and welcome to Louisa TV. This week I want to talk about signs and how to receive them in five simple steps. When we ask for signs, it means that we're willing to co-create and collaborate with the universe. This can take a little bit of practice, but it means we're willing to connect with God or source and or our angels and guides and also willing to surrender. I'll detail this in five simple steps. Sometimes when you receive signs, you think perhaps that might be a coincidence or chance, but I don't believe in chance and I don't believe in coincidences. I think everything happens for a reason. Before I give you the five simple steps, I want to share with you my signs just from last week that really showed me that I'm on the right track. So I'm back in Sydney for a couple of months, packing up my apartment and moving full time to France. This is so exciting, but like anything, any choice we make in life, particularly major choices, we always come into fear or a little bit of fear and question ourselves, are we doing the right things? So I really asked, my angels and guides last week for some signs if it was right to, for me and my most aligned path, my highest path of alignment with my soul's path. And I know France too, without a doubt that it is my soul home. So last week, I had an appointment at the French visa office for my long term visa and I didn't take too much note of the address. I put it in my GPS and I arrived and I it was in the city and I couldn't believe the building I arrived at. I got shivers. I thought how amazing that things come in cycles. You see, I've talked about this before and how I first started Passion Harvest. I was in a outwardly successful life, living an outwardly successful life in a corporate office, but I was desperately unhappy and I realized I needed to change my life. It just wasn't working. And I got out of bed every morning weary and dragged my weary body to work. And what I started doing was going to the park across the road at lunchtime for 40 minutes. I thought I'm not going to stay in the office and I started meditating and I just five minutes at a time, but in case any of my co-workers saw me, I was so worried at that time. I was so full, filled with fear of what other people thought I would put my face to the sun and close my eyes. I was actually meditating, but I was pretending the sun was in my eyes. That's how afraid I was. And I remember once as I kicked off my high heels and sat in the on the grass, I looked down and there was a a gum leaf that had just fallen off the tree and I took it back to my office and put it behind my computer screen hid it so no one again would think how weird I was having a leaf in the office but it reminded me of those moments of joy of the happiest part of my days well, the universe has a funny way sometimes of pushing us kicking and screaming Sometimes if they don't, the universe doesn't push you, we might never have taken the jump. And I asked for it. I was retrenched from the role. And as I packed up my office, nothing in the office had any meaning, but I looked behind my computer and there was the gum leaf. The, now it had been shriveled and dried up. And I realized in that moment that if I stayed and I continued on this life path, I would end up like that dried, shriveled leaf. And I was terrified, but I remember walking out of the office that day, not knowing what I was going to do. But I made a promise to myself and I made a deal with the universe that from that day on, I would always, always do what lit me up, do what felt right, do good for others and always follow my passions. And when I arrived at the French visa office, it was the same building, different floor, but the same building. And it's incredible uh, that I stepped away from captivity and here I was coming back to 
follow my passions and follow my freedom and my truth. And I just thought that was so amazing. One more, one more synchronicity. A lot of documents are required and I inadvertently missed a particular document that I had to return the following day. And I thought, what a hassle, I have to go back and go back to the city. And I thought, again, just very momentarily, I thought, is this all too much hard work? And I put money in the parking meter. One of those old fashioned meters where you put the money in or you can pay with a credit card and you get a ticket and you put it on your dashboard. Well, I couldn't believe it. I went to get my ticket out to put on my dashboard and on top of my ticket was a, a, a $2 Euro coin. I kid you not, I could not believe it. <laughs> so they were the incredible synchronicities and signs and symbols that happened to me last week. It doesn't always have to show up that big, but boy, last week was powerful to show me that this was the right path for me without any uncertainty and any doubt whatsoever. On another note, before I get onto the five steps, I've still got a few places left for my three month passion mentoring program. It is so exciting to share this and take this journey with you. It's a one on one, three month program. And I would be like delighted to work with you. If you want to find out more, I'll put a link below in the show notes or head on over to the Passion Harvest shop page on the website for more details or the contact page. You can always contact me through that on the website. So how to receive signs from the universe in five simple steps? Well, the first one is get clear on what you want, specifically your guardian angels and your spirit guides cannot help you along the way as much unless you're really clear for yourself on exactly what it is you're asking for. And the second one, and I don't always follow this step, but I really encourage you to do so, is ask what the sign will be. Signs could come in all shapes and symbols. It's something that really resonates with you. It can be consecutive numbers or feathers or songs. There are so many ways that signs can come to you. The third one is set a time frame. Set a time frame of when you would like to receive this sign. Give the universe a deadline. So, for example, dear universe, thank you for showing me the sign that my current relationship, he or she is my soulmate. Could you please show me the number 444? This is just an example. Could you please show me the number 444 within the next 24 hours? The fourth one is patience. And this is really, really hard. So just be patient and wait and don't push to look for the sign. Forget about it and you will notice it if you are meant to receive it. Just allow and surrender to the universe. So much happens when we can surrender. And the fifth one is receiving the sign. Don't doubt yourself. Don't be filled with fear. You might be amazed. Best case scenario, you do receive the sign. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. If you feel exhilarated and excited when you see the sign, trust that, that you are on the right path. Now, the other thing is when you don't receive a sign, okay, so this can also happen. And this is a message in itself. Sometimes, and it happens to everyone, we don't receive the signs. You could be asking from anything, is this my life partner? Should I buy this car? Should I buy this house? Should I take this job? And you don't get a sign. Well, I'm not saying leave the partner or quit the job or don't buy the house or don't buy the car. What I'm saying is really deeply evaluate why you want to dig in deeper and explore it a little bit more because this is a sign in itself. Allow the universe to guide you. Surrender. Get clear on what it is you want. Set time frames and ask what the signs will be. 
and sometimes not receiving a sign is a sign in itself but connect with your angels connect with your guides and I encourage you to talk out loud as well the voice box sound is an incredible powerful energetic tool and saying it out loud as well is I feel is more powerful so I encourage you to do this I also really encourage you so much to follow your passions and do what feels right for you and take a leap of faith sometimes and please don't have any regrets and furthermore be kind kind to yourself and kind to others love is what it is all about and everything else is an illusion next week i will be talking about i think that's my plan i'll be talking about when a loved one dies i've got an incredible episode coming out this weekend i can't wait to see you there i'll see you this weekend lots of love follow your passions bye for now